And a small plane crash in Clay County that claimed three lives. That's according to Florida Highway Patrol. Investigators say that the single engine Beechcraft Musketeer crashed into a heavily wooded area near Spencer's Air Park in Middleburg, not far from the runway. On our side's Don White is live this evening in Middleburg with what a witness says he heard and saw in an exclusive interview. Don. <laughs> Good evening. I'm here along Carter Spencer Road and investigators say right over there behind that line of trees is where the plane crashed. They're currently trying to put together the pieces of what happened. I felt the ground move a little bit and then the, when I came out here, I saw the smoke coming up. Joshua Hunt lives about a block from where the small plane went down around nine Wednesday morning. And about 25 police officers and the fire department, it looked like the entirety of the fire department drove down there and they had it blocked off. I went to work and I could still see the smoke coming from up there. Three souls were on board. Unfortunately, all three perished in the crash. Uh, and then, of course, shortly after the collision, a fire ensued, uh, which... Uh, ignited basically a woods fire in the area as well. Florida Highway Patrol Master Sergeant Dylan Bryan says investigators are trying to figure out what caused the crash, but a fire could indicate the plane didn't run out of fuel. As far as the identity of the victims, um, that'll have to be confirmed through the medical examiner's office uh, due to the severity of injuries and of course the, uh, the amount of damage in the collision. So I thought somebody had something serious going on around here. Something may have exploded. So I, I was a little bit worried and that's kind of why I got out. I didn't know if it was going to be more of just focused there or around the area. So I guess I was a little lucky on the way to work. And the NTSB and the FAA are investigating and the medical examiner's office will do autopsies on the bodies. We will continue to follow this story and bring you the latest developments on air and online. Live in Middleburg, Dawn White, First Coast News on your side.